All right, all my barbecue friends, today we are going to get a brisket out on the pit barrel cooker. Coming up. What's up, everybody? We are going to get a brisket on the pit barrel cooker today. It's a beautiful day here in Southern California. This is gonna be a relatively quick video because I can only put the camera on a smoker for so long and it just becomes a little <laughs> boring. But take you through the process of getting this uh, brisket trimmed. Uh, I'm gonna show you right now a little time lapse of it because it takes forever. Guys, I just did this as a backyard trim is not competition whatsoever. So that's why you see me going through it. Uh, I did this last night, a little Cosmo Q, uh, SPG rub on it last night. Just put it in the refrigerator overnight, just let it uh, kind of absorb those flavors in there. And then this morning, took it out, let it kind of re relax a little bit, get that frost of the refrigerator off, put a little hot cow cover on it. This is a very big piece of meat. So it could take a lot of seasoning on there. This brisket was 16 pounds before I started trimming it, but I probably took a good uh, three or four pounds off of it with the trim. Uh, we're gonna do this on the pit barrel cooker, like I said. I'm gonna do it fat side down. I know there's a big, uh, you know, three hour fight about fat side up, fat side down. Uh, the way I've been taught is you want that fat cap going against the heat, all right? So that's what we're going to do today. The heat's coming from the bottom. The pit barrel is consistent on its heat. It's going to stay about uh, 260, 275 the whole time. So it's just going to get all that all that heat from the bottom. It's going to it's going to render all of that fat. It's going to drip down on that fire, cause that steam, and just flavor up that brisket. We're gonna get it to where the bark sets, and then we'll wrap it, we'll get it back on there until it's done. Come on over and we'll get uh, the brisket on that pit barrel. Okay, so the brisket's in. Got our cherry wood smoking already. Put our rebar back in. Got a little thumbprint on my seasoning. So we'll just move a little bit of that around. Just a happy little mistake. All right. Okay, we're one hour in. Looking pretty moist. I think I want to give it a little spritz of water on the top up here. Okay. Two hours in. Getting a nice little uh, bark over here. Still a little, still a little tacky. But we need to spray. I gotta get a little spritz going. Just spritzing it with water. All right, this is uh, four hours in. The bark is pretty set. As much as I'm gonna let it set, uh, it's time to get this thing wrapped. This isn't gonna be a 12-hour smoke. This is more like a hot and fast brisket. All right, let's get this uh, wrapped up. All right, guys, we're getting ready to wrap this. It's tipping out about 165, 170, depending on where you're at. When you're pulling it off, be careful that you do not mess up your bark. You got a little beef consomme right here, and that's that's really that's really all we're gonna wrap it in. Okay, we're gonna, Pour it gently on there. By gently, I mean just throw it all over it. Get Charlie wants to be on camera the whole time. There, good. Look. What's that over there? What's up, Charlie? Get off me. Get off me. It's because I smell like barbecue and beef. All right. So that's it. We're going to wrap it up. We're going to double wrap it too. Always double wrap it, right, Matt? Always. Always. <laughs> oh, uh, it's a bit breezy here in Southern California for for a normal day. 
Get it wrapped as tight as you can. Get that double wrap on. So basically this is gonna go down for as long as it takes. You're gonna shoot for about 205, 208, but we're also gonna check for tenderness. All right, so don't, with these types of uh, meat, you don't wanna just shoot for uh, a temp. You wanna make sure that your, uh, your probe and get your dirty mines out of the gutter. Double wrapping your meat and putting your probe in. Keep out of the gutter, seriously. Uh, we're gonna check the, the, the tenderness of it and it's gonna be probably good four hours from now, I think. We're gonna keep this, you know, right around 275 and just, you know, let it roll for a while. Okay, we'll check it when the temp, uh, you know, we'll check the temperature on it. Uh, but other than that, you won't see this until we unwrap it and start slicing. All right, come on back. All right, guys, we're gonna check the temperature on this one. It's been going for uh, about three more hours. So 202, it's filling probe tender. It's going in like butter. All right. Feeling good, feeling good. We're gonna take this out, right? Wrap it in the towel, let it rest for about about an hour, 45 minutes. Depends on how hungry we get, right, Matt? Yep. Get it wrapped in the towel. I'm not gonna film me wrapping it in the towel because hopefully you guys are all can handle wrapping the towel around a brisket. But, you know, leave a comment down below if you'd like me to wrap more things in towels. Yeah, it's time to wrap this up. We're good to go. Check back in about an hour or, you know, like a half a second for you watching this and we'll be slicing into it. All right, come on back. How's that look? It's a, it's a bit juicy. Look at that smoke ring. I think, I think we got the bend test. It's working out pretty good. Got that nice accordion, got that smoke ring. Pull apart. My one hand is burning like crazy. Take some of that fat off. Ooh. My heart is looks good. Mm, mm. Guys, this is, this is beautiful. You got that nice smoke, that Cosmo Q rub, good to go, all right? Uh, thank my guy Kent for giving me the samurai sword here to cut this brisket up. This is awesome, guys. If you see anything on here you wanna get, like my cutting board, my knife, any of that jazz, the pit barrel, click the link down below, you can get yourself one. It's not bad, I'm digging this brisket. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, thanks for uh, being out there on the barbecue with CJ. Take care.